Hello and welcome to the session on importing files within the Plexus Designer software. In this presentation, we will cover data import methods, file types which can be imported, how data is organized in the software, and how to make use of labels and filtering. Firstly, it is possible to simply cut and paste data into Plexus Designer. If this method is utilized, then an object can be right-clicked on to open its properties and the paste function selected to place data into the software. Data can also be exported to Plexus LE through a similar manner of cutting and pasting objects from Plexus Designer to Plexus LE. There is also the ability to import data formats from other file formats. This is the primary method of obtaining data from other software packages. This slide shows some of the file formats which can be imported from other software packages by clicking on the Import File menu option. It is particularly useful to import borrowhose data from the GIMT, Kinetics, or Open Ground software. It should also be noted that a connection can be made to an open ground clown database and the borrowed data imported from the clown. The tree view is utilized in Plexus Designer to organize all data in a logical fashion. Within the tree view control, the data is organized into three broad categories consisting of editable data, which is all data created or modified by the user. Then there is the imported data, which is all data linked from external files. And lastly, there are settings, which are the display settings for the CAD window. Data will grouped in the same manner by file name, layer name if applicable, and object type, whether it's a grid, mesh, or other type of object. All user objects in Plexus Designer have the common properties of date, labels, and color. These three properties can be used to organize objects or group them in the software. The properties can be asked through right-clicking on an object in selecting the properties action on the menu. Objects are assigned a date stamp, which for new objects is the current time. For imported objects, the date is the last modified time of the file. Labels are arbitrary text that can be assigned to an object and should be assigned as meaningful text that can be remembered by the user. It is also possible to color object labels such that all similar objects are, for example, color green. Furthermore, it is possible to apply filters to objects such that the sorting or display of objects can be organized. The clear button can also be used to remove all filters on objects. Thank you for your time and listening to this presentation.